Well, also tonight, it's something that has not happened since the 1800s, a lunar trifecta. This is pretty cool, and if you're up early tomorrow morning, you just might catch a glimpse of the super blue blood moon. Meteorologist Tara Lane joins us now to explain. Tara? That's a mouthful, I know, the super blue blood moon. Actually, here in central Ohio, though, we're just not geographically lucky when it comes to being in the right place at the right time for the best view of this particular event. But I spoke with some local astronomers about what we might see before sunrise in the morning. You may have seen a so-called supermoon before, but what makes this one a blue moon is the fact that it's the second full moon in a month. Although it may appear slightly larger and brighter because of its closest position to Earth, supermoons actually happen all the time. Don Stevens from the Perkins Observatory. It's basically a supermoon every month. If you go out and look at the moon every night, you can. You're going to see a supermoon uh, at least once a month. So this super blue moon will also be a blood moon because it coincides with a lunar eclipse. The blood red part comes from the eclipse that's going to be happening in the morning. Uh, although, unfortunately, from here, we we'll probably won't see that part of it during totality uh, because uh, you need to be on the west part of the U.S. to see that. Uh, here we might get some of the partial phases uh, before it sets. So that's what makes this event rare, a super blue blood moon that coincides with the lunar eclipse. If you'd like to check it out, OSU astrophysicist Paul Sutter offers his viewing tips where this eclipse is happening. It's going to be low on the horizon just before dawn. So the higher you can get, the further west you can get, the more open cornfields you can put between you and the moon, the better. Clouds are in the forecast, but if we do get some breaks, this is something you can look at safely. No special glasses needed. It's bright, but not that bright. So if you're wondering the exact time when all of this is going to start to happen, you can see here roughly kind of starting around 650. That's when the partial eclipse will begin up until just before moonset, which happens at 742. Unfortunately, as I mentioned, clouds are in the forecast, increasing clouds. And if you don't have a chance to check out this one, we may have a better view for the next lunar eclipse also during a supermoon, and that will happen January 21st of next year. So we have some time to get to that. And of course, NASA, I believe, is going to be streaming it live online. Mm -hmm. So you can just watch it in the comfort of your home or office. Yeah, so while the kids are eating breakfast, turn yeah. on NASA and watch it there. Early in the morning. Or you can tune into or NBC4 and show the only full moon we can show on TV. <laughs> right? That's right. All right, Sarah, thanks. <laughs>